This is Official Nerd Business. Hello, nerd boys and girls. Welcome back to Prime Mover. Last time we took a look at some of the tutorials. Let's finish with the last four tutorial levels in this video. So here's differentiator. Output all of A to C and to D, then output all of B to C and to D. Let's see what components we got. We need to output A to both C and D, so that's probably using a duplicator. This goes to C and to D. And we need to input the line coming from B as well. And this might just be slow enough. We need to output all of A before we can let the first number of B come through. And the timing here is just perfect. So yeah, not really a hard one here. Alternator. We have a lot more components available now. We need to send A to B at one to every other value of A. So that's what we're going to use the switch for. Every time a number hits the switch and we need a little bit of space because we need to have a clean exit on top of the switch and below it. Every time a number comes over the switch, the switch is toggled. So for example, if we look at the numbers coming through here, the 3 and the switch goes in the direction that it's currently pointing at, so that's the lower end, and switches the state, so now 45 will go in the upper path. 5 once again goes below, and switching, the actual toggling here takes a step, so numbers can't enter the switch when it's switching, so this creates kind of a delay in your... Uh, throughput in your flow um, and uh, the initial state of switches can be changed by uh, clicking on them with the middle mouse button so A goes to B and every other value of A so first value and the third value and the fifth etc they need to have one added to them yes and the other ones don't need to have one added so now we need to reintegrate both lines here three becomes four to five All right that's alternator integrated circuits and this is a very important one um, because this introduces us to the integrated circuit boards and these are very powerful um, this gives you an additional grid of 7x7 seven seven squares where you can do everything you can do on the main board as well including placing new integrated circuit boards. This can go down a long way. So that's very nice. The only um, limitation on these circuit boards, they are a bit smaller than the uh, original board and they have four in inputs or outputs which are uh, in the middle of the sides. So sometimes it's kind of tricky uh, lining those up with whatever machine you want to build in here. But usually uh, these are very powerful. We need to delete every other value. So once again we use the switch. The first value needs to be deleted. The second value needs to come along. The third value The 
Ascend D to A. Ah, oh, excuse me. Um, so we need to do this the other way around. Seventeen. Thirty-three goes through. Five does not. Seventeen goes through. Fine. So numbers are coming in here. And every other number is deleted. So yeah, tutorial levels are really, really basic. Send A to B, send C to D. This level shows us the uh, reset instruction. Uh, reset um, stops all inputs until every number on the board is cleared. And then it resets state, so uh, switches are reset. Um, locks are reset to uh, w um, whether you allow a number to pass through on first uh, attempt or not. And only then is the next input given. See a flash. So that's reset. This one isn't even... This, this level is created solely to show what reset does. And it's kind of a shame that we can't use other components because we could have shown a little bit of the side affecting behavior of, uh, of a reset instruction. So having switches, having locks, it's, it's kind of a shame that we don't have more options available here. But that's the last four tutorial levels. Next time we'll be looking at uh, clock and sign. And those are the first puzzles that really make you think a little bit more and really make you use the blocks instead of just place them and, sh and show them off. Thanks for watching this video on official nerd business. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell icon. Did we discuss everything you wanted to hear or did we miss anything? Any topics you want to hear in O&B? Leave your thoughts in the comments. See you next time.